What's the most efficient way to use your AC in the summer? How to get unstuck from mud or sand? Even if you are an experienced driver, it never hurts to learn some extra tips you didn't know before. 9. Get ahead of another car safely Every now and then you just have to overtake another car on a narrow two-lane road to get to your destination faster. And quite often, another car pops out of nowhere moving in your direction on the lane you chose for your maneuver. Whenever you feel like you don't have enough time to end it, flash the turn signals indicating the direction you'll turn to. It will help you avoid an accident because they often happen on the side of the road when both cars choose to get there to avoid the crash. It's always a better idea to turn back to your lane and not to the side of the road. 8. Take good care of your wipers When you see that your wipers aren't working as efficiently as they used to and can't reach some areas on the windshield, they're most likely wearing out. Quite often, rubber, frame, and plastic wipers wear out and form a C-shape. As a result, the center of the windshield remains intact. So, before you get the wipers replaced, try turning them inside out. You can actually help them work longer if you keep the windshield clean at all times. Make it a habit to clean it whenever you stop at a gas station for a fill-up. Just make sure the squeegee they provide you with is clean and doesn't have any debris in it. Whenever frost is coming, remove the wiper blades overnight and they won't freeze the glass. And finally, never ever run the wipers on a dry windshield. They are meant to be used on a wet surface. So if you have to clean a dry windshield, for example to get rid of pollen, turn on the washer first. 7. Use your AC wisely in the summer Imagine it's a hot summer day, you get in the car that's been in the sun for hours. Your first natural urge is to turn the AC at max. Stop right there. The AC system accumulates toxic substances you don't want to breathe in. So pump out the hot air naturally before you get in the car. Roll down the rear windows and open and close the driver's door a few times in a row. Then start driving with your windows open, turn on the AC at max for 30 seconds to 5 minutes and wait for the car to get some fresh air. Remember, the AC is way more efficient as you're driving because it helps the compressor run faster. Check if your cabin's air filter is clean regularly. If there is dirt in it, it messes up the airflow inside the vehicle. And if you have the auto AC feature in your car, don't use it in hot weather. It will help you save fuel as it turns off automatically when the engine is off. But it will make sure that you sweat in traffic jams like crazy. 6. Be careful with your AC in the winter. If you live in a climate where seasons do change and winters are snowy and cold, you most likely only use your AC in the summer. Because the last thing you want on a freezing day is to make the air inside cooler, right? Well, you have to turn on the AC for at least a couple of minutes on medium temperature at least once a month during the winter. This is important to prevent the system from going stale. If you make it sleep all winter long, you might not be able to turn it back on in the summer when you need it the most. The same is true for the heater. You have to turn it on for at least 30 seconds even in the summer months. 5. Start your car when it's freezing outside When it's below 14 degrees Fahrenheit outside and you get in your vehicle, don't try to start it straight away. It will strain the battery and the starter because when you just get in and try to start it, there's no voltage in the system. It will put your starter and battery under too much pressure. So before you start the vehicle, turn on the high beams for 3 to 5 seconds. It will let you run the current through your system and help the engine start easier. 4. Get unstuck from mud or sand 
In case you get stuck in the mud, sand, or snow, don't panic and remember there's always a way to get out. First of all, give your tires some room to maneuver. Move the steering wheel back and forth to achieve this, but do it really slow to get traction. As you're doing it, go from reverse to drive quickly, but no more than 8 times not to damage the car. Deflate the tires letting out about half of the air from them to increase their surface area. Then dig out some space around them and use the tire jack to elevate the car in branches, boards, or even car floor mats for extra friction. As you get out successfully, don't forget to inflate the tires back and drive slowly at first to get off the extra mud. 3. Pay attention to the wheels When you're driving along a narrow road and there is a flow of cars going your way, pay attention to their wheels. If you feel like the driver is acting weirdly, don't wait for them to flash the turn signals. Quite often, they just forget to turn them on or do that after they've turned the wheels in the right direction. So it's not the turn signals, but the wheels you should watch. 2. Take the most out of your car alarm. Most modern car alarms have anti-theft mode. It prevents car theft blocking the engine while the stolen vehicle is moving. All you have to do is push the button and stop the engine from a distance, but it won't work unless you have the alarm remote control on you. For example, when thieves throw you out of the car, or you went out to check the tires and someone jumped in and went on a ride in your car. So, it's really smart to keep the remote control apart from the rest of your keys and always keep it in your pocket. Also, don't activate the anti-theft mode just for fun. It takes an expert to unblock the vehicle after it's been activated, so reserve it for real emergencies. 1. Mind the details It's pretty obvious that you have to keep your sidecar windows clean, but there are some things you might oversee in this process. Your sidecar windows have rubber molding that you most likely forget to clean. However, even if the car itself is clean, these rubbers accumulate dust you can't even see. When it gets out, it scratches your sidecar windows like sandpaper. A few months later, it can leave deep scratches on your sidecar windows that you won't be able to get rid of. Can you think of any other useful car maintenance tips and tricks? Let me know in the comment section below! Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the Bright Side of Life!